has been a long time. I believe this video is actually going to be the first one I'm posting um, coming back to YouTube. Uh, not like I went anywhere. I just wasn't posting for a while because, you know, life gets crazy. But this is my 2019 holiday decor tour video. So you're probably like, well, Heather, it's really, really late in the year to be posting this because there's no time to decorate for Christmas. Yeah, I know that. I wanted to post this video because I love my house at Christmas time. And I, I filmed this video last year and I'm so mad I never posted it because it was a beautiful day. We had like two feet of snow. It was gorgeous outside. We had the fire going. It was just so pretty. And I just never posted it because I was like, well, the house isn't perfect and it's not perfectly clean. And it doesn't look like an Instagram house. So I am posting this as a PSA to those of you out there who love Christmas, who house is not always perfectly clean, whose house is not a white Instagram house. Not that that is a bad thing. If you like that white tone, neutral tones, that's totally fine. It takes beautiful pictures that way. It's just not my real life. And I wanted to share this with you to say, you know, this is my home. It's not perfect. We live in an 80s, you know, builder grade house that we've done a lot of work to, um, but that still needs a lot of work. But I love my Christmas decorations. I take a lot of pride in them. I, it's a lot of fun for me to put them together every year. And I wanted to share that with you because, because also this time of year is the best time to buy Christmas decorations, whether it be florals or wreaths or garlands or trees or just decor because everything's on sale between now and like the second week in January is the best time to go get all that stuff. So yes, it's too late for you to run out and get the stuff now or try any of these things now, but maybe it can give you some ideas so you can go out and get supplies for next year. So yeah, I just wanted to encourage, you know, as always guys, what you see on Instagram and what you see on YouTube and the beautiful, clean, perfectly put together home is not the reality for most of us. And again, if that is you, snaps because I can't get my life together, like ever. So <laughs> I'm just sharing this video with you. I will also at the end be sharing, I decorated a total of six Christmas trees this year. I did one for myself. Um, I did Jess's nine foot tree. I did her like five foot tree in her library. I did my mom's uh, big tree. I did her kitchen tree. And then we did a tree for Jess's boyfriend's mom, who is the sweetest lady ever. I adore her. Her name's Lois. And so I'll just be showing um, some quick clips of that. Just they're six very different trees, um, all different shapes, all different sizes, all different materials. And I thought it'd be just fun to share that with you um, because, you know, me and Jess picked out the decorations for Lois's tree. Mom picked out the decorations for her kitchen tree. And, you know, her big tree is all of our family ornaments. And then Jess, de you know, designed her two trees. And I just kind of helped her with the execution of them. So, but I just wanted to show you a bunch of different designs and, um, not designs, I'm not a designer, a bunch of different Christmas trees and decorations to give you some ideas so maybe you can start planning for next year because I know I start the Christmas countdown like January 14th when I finally take down my Christmas decorations. Don't judge me. So the video is gonna be some shot at night and some during the day, cause I tried to shoot it last night when I got home from work, but it was just too dark. So I did reshoot a lot of it. So if you see it go from night to day, that's what's going on. It's not perfect. It's probably shaky and I probably ramble like I do. And so I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you did for Christmas this year. I love seeing Christmas decorations. Tag me on Instagram or on put it on my Facebook or link me to your home decor video because I have been binge watching those like a psychopath. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy the tour. Thank you so much for hanging out and talking with me. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye. All right guys, so we're just going to start out here now. <laughs> if the lighting's funny, I do apologize because it's, you know, it's about nine o'clock on a Friday night. I got home from work and wanted to film this. So yeah, if the lighting's funky, I didn't set up anything crazy to film this, but this is my front porch and we just kept it simple because we are redoing the front porch. We're going to do all of them in these big, just kind of bare treated wood. Kids are getting home uh, in my cul-de-sac, but we have a little porch, but it's really cute. Um, we do go through a lot of firewood, so you will see that all over the place. But up on the railings, I do have these $4 garlands, just very simple garlands that you can get from Michael's. I usually get them on sale for about $4 a piece. I think they're about nine feet 
around Thanksgiving time when all their holiday, holiday stuff starts going on sale and I just strung some lights through them and I also took some of the Santa snow spray and just flocked them myself just to make them match the trees and my wreath but really simple and then up here I did get this Santa stop here sign from Michael's on sale for about I think it was like 15 bucks I wasn't gonna pay much more than that but it was really cute so I did pick it up now these set of this set of three trees right here these are flocked trees and they have that burlap weighted bottom I got these last year last year two years ago um, from at home on Black Friday and they're really pretty they don't come lit so I did run strings through them but I love them out here in my front porch just because there's something about a flock tree that just absolutely glows especially when it has lights on it and Daniel loves me enough to put these on a timer so and I usually go more over the top with these but this year I just got a bunch of little cardinals from Dollar Tree and just put them in there and I think they look so pretty and then these little jugs are were Daniel's great grandparents they're old whiskey jugs and I just love having them out here on the porch so that's the tallest one and the smallest one they're about four feet tall and then here is the other little tree now again I usually go more elaborate with my wreath this is just a wreath from Walmart it was not flocked but again I just used that Santa snow to flock it and I just put again two little cardinals in there from Dollar Tree and they just look really pretty and just very welcoming so that's my front porch let's go ahead and go inside so now we are inside my entryway and it's not a big entryway but I do have my stairs going upstairs which is just decorated with my garland that I do every year I've got the welcome sign um, that little table that we'll go over in a minute but kind of swinging around and looking at the front door I do have that sign from Walmart and it just says where the treetops glisten we do have a lot of natural wood elements in our home as you will see so that sign is just beautiful and when the lights are off it's just absolutely gorgeous I think I got that for like five bucks really pretty and then on the back side of my door I do have this wreath I got that hanger from Michaels on sale but this wreath is kind of, uh, it was a first attempt at <laughs> making an ornament wreath. Everything that you see is from the Dollar Tree, the ornaments, the wreath form, the ribbon, um, all of it is from the Dollar Tree. So it's not perfect. Um, it was definitely, you know, I think a decent first try. So since I put the time and effort into it, I did go ahead and hang it on the door. And there is Paris. Say hi, Paris. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. So when we moved in, when our baby, uh, since our babies had not grew, uh, grown up together, we decided to keep them separate just for safety reasons. So the kitties have the upstairs, the whole upstairs, and the puppies have the downstairs. So this is the first time we get to meet Paris, and she is probably the coolest, most awesomely fantastic combination of a two-year-old and a 15-year-old you will ever meet. If you have a husky or a husky mix, you understand. And speaking of the other one, there's coffee. Hey, coffee bug. She is queen of the castle. So over here, before we go onto the garland, I just have this little shelf and then we have our leashes. Um, those jingle bells are just from Michaels. They were really cute. Any of these little signs that you see, you'll probably recognize from the dollar, Target dollar spot over the past couple years. I just like them. I think they're fun and I don't see the point in spending more than $3 for a sign that you can only have up for you know a certain time of year. That little candle is also from Dollar Tree. Those are awesome. If you've never thought about picking those up, those little um, those little mason jar candles, that one's in the fragrant cinnamon bun and it smells so good. That little wooden tree is one of three that I have from the Target Dollar Spot from a couple years ago. And then I have a mason jar with just some florals in it. You'll see this a lot throughout my decor. Um, all of my florals, or most of them, are from Dollar Tree or Michaels, and I got them really cheap at Michaels. And I like to just take the bunches of florals that you can get, cut them up, and then stick them in my garland, stick them in my tree, stick them around decor, just to kind of tie everything together and give everything a really pretty, cozy, kind of natural, festive feel, if that makes any sense. <laughs> And then my favorite part of the entryway is my staircase garland. Now, I would love to have a big swag going all the way down and puddling on the floor, but unfortunately, these two 
love nature. And when I say love nature, I mean they love to eat nature. So I just kind of settled with this big bow with my little bird in the middle. And so before we get into it, just to kind of explain how I do my garlands, my garlands are actually those cheap garlands you can get for under five bucks at Michael's, just the plain green garlands. So I will just get two of those really inexpensive garlands and then I will fluff them up and twine them together. And then what I do is I will just add ribbons and florals and picks until I get the look that I want. So all of my garlands, I pretty much start from scratch. So I do put them together and take them apart every single year piece by piece. It's a lot of work. It takes me usually about 20 hours to put all of my garlands together and my decorations together, but it's so worth it, like 12 to 15, day, uh, 15 hours. It's usually like two all day processes just because I like to take my time as well watch Christmas movies all that kind of stuff so a lot of these picks are either from some of these bigger picks are from Walmart and Dollar Tree these iced fruit bundles are actually from Michaels they're from the brand called Ashland but I usually get them on sale for about a dollar fifty a piece and I just kind of add to my collection every year so that I can expand and my garlands can be more full again any of this greenery the berries pine cone picks those are all from dollar tree and i just take them and tear them apart and just build my garland how i like it now these frosted berries i absolutely love they're also from ashland from michaels and they're usually on sale around think from thanksgiving on for about eighty dollars or eighty dollars eighty cents a piece and they just make such a beautiful accent so combining these kind of more not expensive pieces but these kind of more intricate looking fancy looking pieces with these really simple florals from the Dollar Tree and I I think it just has a really pretty effect. I don't, I don't know what else to say. So I do use three ribbons. In the past couple of years I've used three different types of ribbon in my decorating and you'll kind of see them flip-flopped. I have this shiny red ribbon and this kind of shiny plaid red and gold ribbon and in some I have the thinner red and the thicker plaid or I'll have the thicker red and the thinner plaid and then I also just have a very simple burlap ribbon and I get all my ribbon from Michaels as well. And the way I do my ribbon, if ribbon is something that's intimidating to you, this is how I did it the first time because I didn't want ribbon to be a focal point. I wanted it to be an accent and something that just really adds some beautiful color and texture and fullness to a garland. So you'll see I have it just right uh, kind of threaded through all the way. These are not full strips of ribbon. They're just little, or full rolls of ribbon. They're just little strands that I cut to the size that I want. And then I tuck them in. I don't even wire them in. I just use the branches of the garland and the picks to tuck them in and keep them secure so I can adjust them as I'm working without a whole lot of fuss. And it just is really, has really worked out well for me um, in this format. I also use uh, some glitter accents. I don't have a lot of glittery stuff, but I do like to get some glittery floral picks to stick into the garland because I think it just adds such a beautiful effect when everything's lit up and it's dark at night and it just really helps it kind of sparkle. And just more bird picks, just going all the way up. I love having birds, I, these bird picks. I think I got all of these at either Michael's for $1.50 or a Dollar Tree. And they just create such a pretty, again, natural kind of vignette. So that's what my garland looks like. And then over here, like I said, we do use a lot of firewood. Our fireplace is usually going um, nine times out of 10 if it's cold outside. And we just got a bunch from a friend of ours who lives out in the country. But this beautiful table was Daniel's grandparents. It's very ornate, but it's so beautiful. And with all of the light gray tones we have in our house, I love having some more natural wood elements and also some of these deeper, kind of more polished wood elements. And I, and I think it adds such a beautiful, cozy vibe and feel to the house. Makes me really happy. So as we go through, you'll probably notice that we have a lot of Daniel's fur, uh, grandparents' furniture. Um, we don't have a lot of my grandparents' furniture. We don't have a lot of my grandparents' stuff at all. And, you know, we were talking about the other, the, the other day, and mostly it's because when I lost my last grandparent, I was like 22 or 21 and in college and couldn't keep any of their stuff. And, you know, he was really lucky and, and he lost his last grandparent right after we started dating. So we are, you know, he's lucky to have a lot of this stuff and it makes me happy that we can have it in the house. But this is our entryway table and this, you know, 
We mix this up every single year. I love having apothecary jars with treats in them, but these are really fun. I got these apothecary jars at, at home. If you have one of those near you and you haven't been, don't go because you will be in so much trouble. They're so much fun and they're really affordable. This little sleigh we got at the dollar spot um, or sled. And then again, just like with my garlands, I'll have just I'll cut up some of those poinsettias and berries and cinnamon sticks just to add some texture and some interest to what I have sitting around the house. Um, this is a Bath and Body Works candle. I couldn't tell you what it is. It smells really good. And that holder is so pretty. That kind of tin village holder. Love it. This little arrangement right here I love. I do all of these arrangements for fall and spring and Christmas and I use, you know, so I'll just make my own arrangements every year and I'll incorporate whatever ribbon I'm using and whatever picks and colors. This little container was actually a candle that we got at TJ Maxx or Home Goods that smelled so good, but the, it was just so cute. We just kept it and it just adds a really nice, cute, kind of rustic-y, cozy vibe to stick an arrangement in. I do have a bunch of lanterns throughout my house all year long and I love having them on timer so you know the house has some LED lights like this going all year round. I just kind of mix up where I put them so this Christmas uh, this is where this little guy is hanging out. From this little section right here this is the opening to our living room. So before we get into it the uh, ceiling uh, a lot of people ask about that when they come over. And what that is, is that is reclaimed food, food grade pallet wood that we found from a couple who salvages it and sells it for like $1.50 a board. Um, who They live about an hour away from us. I, if I can find their Facebook page, um, they live in Toyana, Virginia. It's kind of towards Virginia Beach. But we love it because it's food grade. It does not have any, it's not treated with any chemicals. So it's just... A lot safer to be in your home and we just sanded it down to kind of bring out the really interesting grains in the wood and put it up on the ceiling and we wanted it to look rough we wanted it to have the nail heads in there leave the knots in all of these kind of little characteristics that the boards have to make it really interesting um, because we didn't want it to look like flooring on the ceiling we wanted it to kind of look like a just I don't know I don't even know what you would call this but we absolutely love it it totally works there's a good picture of kind of the gray tones that we have in our house, the more polished antiques that we have, and that kind of natural wood finish. And, I, you know, it does, it's definitely not going to be for everybody, but I love it. It makes me so happy when I see those three elements together. And it really, Daniel did such a good job. And it really makes this room, which when I moved in was really, really small and kind of oppressive, um, because it is a small room and we don't get a lot of light in here and it, you know, with that paint in the ceiling, it really makes the room feel taller because it draws your eyes up. So yeah, let me know if that you like that. It might not, again, like I said, it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but I like it and we're really happy with it. So over here is usually where Daniel sits. <laughs> and another thing you'll notice about some of our throws and things like that, they're not gonna be expensive. Why? Why? Because of this one right here. She has a really hard life. Every time I arrange the pillows, she has to rearrange them to make them comfortable for her. And it's, it's an ongoing battle that she tries to survive every day. But uh, Miss Coffee loves her some pillows and throws. So this throw, I actually, it's a really soft kind of plush throw I got from Kroger for like $3.99. That Be Merry pillow is from Walmart. All the pillows that you see in here are from Walmart or Target Dollar Spot and they were under five bucks. So these are some wood coated, like bark coated candle holders that I got from TJ Maxx a few years ago. They are always out, but they just look so spectacular at Christmas time. So we just leave them out. This is just another little arrangement that I did. And I put it in that little tin bucket just to kind of, you know, again, kind of bring everything together and go with that rustic-y, I don't know, cozy vibe tradition. I don't know. It's not rustic-y. It's not farmhouse. It's just my decorations. Daniel actually picked out this sign from Michaels and he he has picked out a few things because he usually just lets me go but the things he picks out are just perfect and that is one thing that he has picked out. Love it. 
So over here is Daniel's grandparents' secretary, and this thing is over 100 years old. It's so incredibly beautiful. Right now it's holding all of my music and opera scores, um, but I wanna do something kind of a little bit more refined in there. We love this. This is in our living room all the time because it's a very heavy piece of furniture to not be. But it comes with these beautiful old candle pedestals that when people were writing a letter or doing paperwork, they would put candles on them and burn them so they could see. Now, we do not burn candles on this piece of furniture because we're just not going to do that. But we do display the candles at Christmas time. And again, I'm trying to stay out of the light. We just have more berries, some cinnamon sticks. Those candles are just decorative candles that I got from Dollar Tree and they just look really pretty. And then Another tradition in Daniel's family is his grandmother always used to hang a wreath from the secretary. So I have, over the years, made wreaths to put up there. And again, I build these just like I do my garland. It's got the same ribbon, poinsettias, berries, bird picks. They do have some LED lights in there that you probably can't see right now that are on a timer. And this was like a $4 wreath from Michael's and I just kind of build it and take it apart every year um, down to just the plain wreath so that way I can do something different the next year or alter it. I don't like hot gluing things into my wreaths that I'm keeping in my home because I like the option of being able to switch things up. So that's that's our little wreath on the secretary. So Daniel had this tree when I moved in. This is a Martha Stewart tree. It's got a lot of really natural elements in it like berries and pine cones and things like that already built in. That's, that's really beautiful and I just really go to town with this tree. So the tree skirt underneath is from Walmart um, and it just, I really just bought it to kind of bump out my tree skirt because it doesn't have a lot of volume to it. It is from Amazon. It's burlap with that white printed pattern of Santa and his reindeer. <laughs> I just love it. I do put fake presents wrapped underneath the tree because Paris thinks she's a cat and she thinks she can get under there and she hides under there and then it's just a, it's not, it's not a good scene. A lot of my ornaments on my tree are, again, are from either Walmart or Dollar Tree. Just kind of that rustic-y theme. You're going to see um, glitter picks. Those glitter picks are from Dollar Tree, the poinsettias, the berries. Again, we're just repeating things. The ribbon that we've done in the garland and the other decorations. And I, it's like my new thing is to put signs in trees. I just think it's so cute. I saw Rebecca Robeson do it, so... It's like Hattie Heron, you know, Rebecca Robeson put signs in Christmas trees. So now I put signs in Christmas trees. So I have that one from Target Dollar Spot. I have the Mrs. Claus from Target Dollar Spot. The ribbon, their sleigh ride, another sign from Target Dollar Spot. And then I made that bow to go along with our tree topper, which is from Michael's, no, Walmart. So yeah, just a lot of the same elements just to, I like to put things like picks and just simple ball ornaments deep into the tree so that when you're standing at the tree and looking into it, you, there's always something to find and you don't see, you don't see the artificialness of the tree. But yeah, so we are slowly kind of replacing ornaments, um, or not replacing ornaments, but adding special ornaments to the tree as we go. And my philosophy is if somebody loves you enough to give you a special ornament for your tree, even if it doesn't go with your theme, it's, it's going on your tree. At least that's how I deal with it. <laughs> so I love our tree. I think it's really beautiful and obnoxiously over-decorated, but it just absolutely makes me so happy. Over here, we just have a little table that we use as our entertainment center. I do have a little lantern in the back that has some pine cones and LED lights that light up at night. I have a couple of nutcrackers. Those are from the Dollar Tree. And you're gonna see a lot of these conical shaped trees made out of different materials, different colors throughout my home. I just love them. I think they're so much fun and they give just a lot of color and <laughs> texture and just, they're, they're just fun. So I collect a couple every year. This little treasure is from Dollar Tree a year or two ago, last year. It's a wax warmer and I absolutely love it. It's got a little reindeer on it. I've got another one in the bathroom that you'll see. And if you have an artificial tree like me, but you miss that smell of a tree, the balsam and cedar from Yankee Candle, Oh my God, it is the, the wax melts. You can get them from Walmart for like three bucks. They last so long. The throw's amazing. And I just am, I, I don't say this very often, but I'm obsessed with them. So 
there's that. <laughs> so over here, just kind of going towards the mantle, I do have this lantern right here with just some battery powered LED lights. We've got some fake snow in there along with just some more florals to kind of tie everything together. And then these pine cones, these are in my tree as well. I just have kind of stuck them in there, but and I found them at at home um, for like $4.99 a bushel. So I just put them in that old crock that kind of matches Daniel's grandparents' um, whiskey jugs outside because I just thought it added some light and catches the light of the fire and it's really, really pretty. I did get these stockings for me and Daniel from Kroger actually and I think I got them for under $10. They're a heavy knit material and they're just cozy and I just think they're really really cute so I hang those on the mantle and then again I have my mantle garland that I you know do the same as all the other garlands and one thing I did forget to tell you about um, is these these picks hanging down those are actually a more expensive Ashland pick they're like ten dollars regularly they only come out around Christmas time they're like a floppy pine or fluffy fur I don't, I don't know what you would call it with um, some pine cones attached they have a little bit of glittering on them and I just take them and I tear them apart and stick them into my garlands because they usually or they give it a more kind of realistic natural feel and I just love them um, I will link a couple of my favorite kind of more expensive picks that I get and just tear apart <laughs> Because I usually get them for about um, six, four or six dollars. These are also from Ashland, and I just they're just pine cone floppy pine cone picks. But yeah, this is my mantle garland, and I just adore it. Not to toot my own horn, but I think it turned out pretty good this year. I don't know. Let me know. What do you guys think? It is definitely better than spending eighty or one hundred fifty dollars on a pre-decorated garland. Over here we have a little sign, again from the Target Dollar Spot, but this makes me think of the Polar Express. And I love it. I love the end at the end when he can hear still still hear the bell jingle, but his sister can't um, because he still believes and he still remembers that he met Santa. So I love that little sign. Just another cone-shaped tree. Up here is our gallery wall in progress. Let me know if you want to kind of more in-depth view of that. But I did get these signs from Michaels. They were $5 a piece and they just say all is calm, all is bright. And I thought they were beautiful up here. This mirror is like the one that's above my vanity. It's a little bit less intricate, but it's also about a hundred years old and we got it from Daniel's grandparents. So absolutely think that's just brings out so much color in here. Our normal accent colors are kind of that kind of patinaed teal and antiqued gold along with those natural wood elements. So we just kind of mix and match it. And then there's coffee. We made the long journey to the other side of the couch. This quilt right here um, is one of three that we have that was Daniel's grandparents. And we don't really use it, but I love to display it just because it's so beautiful. And because if we unfold any of these blankets, which the other ones I don't care about because they, like I said, they were $4 from Kroger, coffee will burrow into it and burrito up. But then we just have some more $5 pillows from Target. I abuse my dogs. Can you tell how rough their life is? Oh, look at coffee with her little coffee pillow. This pillow I love because it's essentially coffee on a pillow in a little red truck with a Christmas tree. And she lays on it all the time and it just makes my heart, like, it just, my heart just can't take it. But yeah, so again, another just $4 throw from Kroger. Because, like I said, if the dogs are going to be all over it and licking on it, and because coffee likes to lick things incessantly, it's, <laughs> she, she's such a little weirdo, um, and burrito up, then I don't want to have to worry about, you know, a $35 pillow getting ruined. So we just buy the cheap ones and let her go to town. Don't we? Paris. Look at how pretty you are. Are you a pretty girl? She's like, yeah, I know it. And over here we have just another side table. I have another little lantern with a candle in it. I put some berries and fake snow in there and just some more florals with a wooden reindeer that I got. I think I got that at like TJ Maxx or at home. And here it is going to be a lot brighter because it's not as dark as it is in my living room. But this little, we just have a mirror in here. I like having mirrors in this house because before we painted everything it was very dark and I just like having mirrors to help reflect the light and the brightness that we get in our entryway and this hallway and that little 
wreath or garland. That little garland is just from the Target dollar spot. All right, we're gonna go into the bathroom and then we'll finish up in the kitchen. So I wasn't sure I was gonna decorate the bathroom this year because I was like, oh, it's just so much for, you know, a couple months, but you know, look at the rest of my house, whatever, I go over the top. But I found this really cute bath set at Burlington for like 22 bucks and it go, went so well with the house. So I, I just did it. So I just used the hooks I had, but that, the set came with that shower curtain and then these two memory foam rugs. And my floor is really dirty right now, please don't judge me. And then just to go with it, I picked up this towel for like six bucks. This is in my bathroom year round, but I just am ridiculous and I put the, the poinsettias in there just to kind of tie everything together. These hand towels totally don't match, but somebody gave them to us last year for Christmas. So I needed to use them and I think they're really, really cute to sand in his reindeer. So this is our vanity. It's not very fancy. <laughs> Again, we're dealing with builder grade stuff here, but we make it work. I have another little Bath and Body Works candle. This is probably one of my favorite things I've gotten this year. Um, it is an advent calendar. Well, why in the bathroom, do you ask? Well, well, Daniel and I have made some very large purchases for the house over the past year. So we have decided that we're not getting each other Valentine's Day, birthday, Christmas, holiday, anniversary presents until we pay them off. So I picked up this advent calendar from Michael's for like 20 bucks. And for Daniel, every morning when he comes in here and brushes his teeth, I wrote him a little note. So that's kind of my present to him this year. And I thought it's fun. And he, I always hear him giggling. He doesn't get, he has a manly, robust laughter. <laughs> Don't you, baby? Yeah, right. <laughs> so I always hear him laughing in here in the morning when he's brushing his teeth. I thought it would be a nice way to start off the day. So that's for him. This is my bathroom mirror, which I absolutely love, and I'm taking it with me whenever we move. Uh, another little garland just to add some greens um, from the Target dollar spot, and some new Too Faced palettes. This little guy right here, I think, is from Michaels, and just another one of those Dollar Tree candle warmers that are amazing with the balsam and cedar. And then I have just my wallflower with sweater weather from uh, Bath and Body Works. And then going over here, you can see we have brought the wood in here. It's not done yet. We've got to finish it, but I just put this wreath again. I made this wreath and just did the burlap ribbon and put it together with the lights. And it just, I think it looks really pretty in here. And just a couple of cute, little signs from Target Dollar Spot. Come into my kitchen, which guys, if I could have, if I still had a before picture of this kitchen when I moved in, I wish I could show you. It's so big and light and bright and airy now. When we moved in, no, when I moved in, it was already like this because Daniel's a good husband and <laughs> painted um, according to orders, <laughs> but um, it was a yellowish orange paint, black glossy cabinets, and red burgundy trim. It was awful. It was traumatic. I don't like to talk about it, <laughs> but we've done a lot of work in here, and now this kitchen is just an amazing space, and even though it's not open concept, I, I don't think it needs to be because it just is such an open, airy kitchen, and I absolutely love it. So right when you walk in, you see our trash can, which is very interesting. But then we have our bar area, which we love coffee. We love to drink, you know, so it works perfectly. This was actually Daniel's grandparents bar. So, you know, he absolutely loves that this is in the house. This is one of those pieces I wasn't really sure about because it wasn't my style. But the more we have done to really make it our own, the more I love it. So over here, since this is Daniel's area, we have another one of those cinnamon bun candles, hello, from Dollar Tree. And then we have this little light up gas station for, that was part of Daniel's Christmas, uh, Daniel's grandfather's Christmas village. So it just looked perfect on the bar. We have a little red truck ornament, but I thought it looked so cute right here. And then Daniel's mom is so funny. She got a little Hot Wheel Challenger, um, to and and tied a christmas tree on it how cute is that um i don't know if i mentioned it but daniel actually owns two challengers he's got a 1974 challenger in b5 blue that his mom bought new off the showroom floor and then he just bought his 2008 
SRT8 Challenger a few years ago. They're in B5 Blue. So, you know, I thought that was really cool. That little jar is from Crow, uh, Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. That gas pump is kind of was the theme for this area because it's there year round. You can actually put liquor in there and then pump it out. It's kind of fun. <laughs> and then we have another Christmas tree. And then, of course, Christmas holiday mugs. So I had have yourself a meowy little Catmas Christmas. Eat, drink, and be merry. Sipping on jolly juice. Leftovers are for quitters. You know, shout out to my fat kids out there. And then my chubby little penguin. And then we also have quite the holiday flask collection. Because, you know, adulting. So that one um, says, can I just ask Santa for vodka? Christmas spirits. Have yourself a merry little cocktail. These little shot glasses are from friends of ours that we got last year for Christmas and I love them. So they live on the bar. Um, I like this one. It says he sees you when you're drinking. So that, that's <laughs> good to know. Uh, more florals on the bar just to tie everything in. And then we have two more up there that says holiday survival mode and jingle juice. So that's our little bar area. Super cute. So guys, my stainless steel is not polished. Uh, my kitchen is not perfectly cl uh, clean, but welcome to real life. So I just have some mason jars on display out here. And again, I just pop those florals in there to kind of tie everything together. I love this little area over here. I just have some more of those Christmas trees. The pine cone one, Daniel actually picked out, but that sign is actually really, really cool. It's from Target Dollar Spot. And I didn't see a lot of people talking about these, but it's got a slit in the top and you can pull that out and it's double-sided and there's like four or five of them in there so you get like 10 signs um, that you can mix and match and I just thought that was really super cute I just thought since we had that's the girls since we had the, the Christmas trees over here you know we would so we would put that over here but it's a really cute idea especially if you are somebody who doesn't want to spend a lot of money on holiday decor but you like to mix it up Somebody's in our clothes sack and that is not okay with the girls. I have just another little candle over here and another canister that I got from Michael's, kind of antique looking canister with just some uh, another arrangement that I made. And then over here on the stove, please mind, uh, ignore the dirty stove. I just have a little spoon rest that says, don't get your tinsel in a table. I thought that was funny. And then I just have my, my set of Christmas hand towels. So also right in front of our kitchen sink is this little rug that I got from Ross for like four bucks that says be merry. I love it. It's already dirty, but what are you going to do? We live in this kitchen. So over here we have our tablescape. So it's just a burlap runner that I got from Michael's over a Target dollar spot runner. I have some more apothecary jars with some treats and some Swiss Miss in them. And the lights on so you can see a little bit better. So, but I love that joy sign again from the Target dollar spot. And then this is my favorite thing probably, or one of my favorite things in the whole house. This was uh, Daniel's great grandfather's handmade toolbox. And it was Daniel's idea to make this a centerpiece because he wanted this to see this all the time. So um, I take it and I change it out seasonally with seasonal displays and um, arrangements and it's just a lovely reminder of his family history. So just very cool handmade toolbox that just fits perfectly on our table. And then over here I have another wooden reindeer, another one of those wooden Christmas trees, and just another random conical Christmas trees. And guys, if you see these, do not pay $30, $25, $20 for these. They're going to go on sale and you should never pay more than like 10 bucks for these. If you like them and you see them, wait for them to go on sale because they will. All right, guys, you want to see the only Ray Dunn that I have in my house. The girls food and water bowls, one says gulp and one says woof. <laughs> That's the only Ray Dunn I have in my house. So I have another garland over my picture window. I love walking in and seeing this garland on. Those are just some more signs from Target. And again, just the same elements. I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. You know, it's just once you find a theme, it's going to be hard to see, guys. I'm sorry. With the light coming in from outside. So just another garland just doing the same stuff, repeating it over and just... You know, my philosophy is just to stick stuff in randomly until you like how it looks. 
And you know, it's something I'm trying to teach my sister as she's decorating because she's so analytical that she's like, well, it's gotta balance, it's gotta be symmetrical. Well, yeah, you gotta balance it out, but it doesn't have to be symmetrical. Sometimes symmetrical is boring and it's fun to have a little bit of randomness. So I'm sorry, you can't see. If I get to have a better picture of that at night, I'll, I'll put that in there. So going around to this other corner, I have my new hutch, which I adore. Um, side story, cut this video is gonna be so long, I'm sorry guys. Um, when I, I told Daniel, uh, this is how I knew we were old, because we used to have a freezer over here where everything in it was from 1987 and had six layers of ice on it. And it was just a catch-all for junk to clutter up my kitchen. So I was like, we need to get rid of that. So it's now in the garage, and we were looking for a buffet and a hutch to go over here and not be too big or overwhelming and just really fit in with our kitchen. And I woke up on a Friday, Saturday morning, and I saw this on Facebook Marketplace and it was painted exactly like this. It goes with our kitchen perfectly with the natural wood elements, painted gray. I made him get out of bed on a Saturday morning at 10 o'clock to go antiquing, and he is such a good sport. And I was like, baby, we are officially old. <laughs> so that's my hutch. I love it. It's new. It's perfect. It, it pulls this kitchen together. So on top, I just have some more trees and some more cute signs from the Target dollar spot. I just, I love these. I get these at At Home, Michaels, Ross, Brown, wherever I can find them. And again, I just like the different textures and the natural elements they kind of bring into the home. And while I was thinking about what I was gonna do with this, I had an epiphany. So Daniel's grandfather on his mom's side loved Christmas and he had the most elaborate Christmas village. It was laid out year round eventually on a ping pong table and it had ponds and trains and just lighted street lights and, and little miniature lighted Christmas lights. And we have all of this stuff. We just don't have a place to put it yet, but we have most of it here in this hutch. And I just strung some little battery operated lights in there. And again, it just makes me so happy that we can incorporate this piece of Daniel's family's history because, you know, I have so many wonderful memories of my grandmother uh, and grandfather, my nanny and papa. But unfortunately, I don't have a lot of their things. I have my grandmother's china, which I absolutely just cherish. Um, so it makes me so happy that we do have this stuff from Daniel's family. And on top of that, I have always wanted a Christmas village ever since I was a little girl. So it is just, it makes me very, very happy that we, that we have this and that we can incorporate it into our Christmas decorations. And I know it means a lot to his mom. I, his mom came over around Thanksgiving and I already had this up because I wanted her to see it because um, it was her dad's and it just made her very happy. So, yes, you know, it was very special. So I love this hutch. It makes me love this hutch even more. So that is just a, what the kitchen looks like. And again, it's, I just, from what it was and what we had to work with in the 80s builder grade everything it makes me really happy what we have done with our home and i am going to show you just some brief clips of um five other christmas trees i did one for daniel's i mean um jess's boyfriend's mom she is a wonderful lovely woman she is in her 70s and it's just a little bit harder for, for her to do that so me and Jess designed and put together her Christmas tree. Um, I did both of my mom's trees and I did um, two of Jess's trees, you know, with their help. They, you know, they picked out the decorations and sometimes they just need a little bit of help in the execution. So I will be showing just brief clips of that if you want to see that. But I did want to leave you with this. I finally put my chalkboard together, um, took down my fall drawing and put my chalkboard together. And as we go through the season, I just hope this reminds you to, uh, you know what's important at the end of the day 50 years down the road when you are gone and your families you know the, your loved ones are still here they're not going to remember what you got them for Christmas they are going to remember the laughter and the memories and this you know dad jokes and the, you know the stupid stories that make family a family and you know when you are out this holiday season Remember to be nice to people, you know, be grateful. Even if something's frustrating and there's a million people around, just remember that you have a car that got you to the store where you have money to spend to buy things to take back to a home to share with a family you have. And just remember that, you know, 
somebody you encounter might not have that and and be grateful and be thankful and 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 you know and even if somebody doesn't do that to you pay it forward because you never know what somebody's going through in their life and maybe you know if somebody lashes out or if somebody's rude you know maybe they're going through something and they need a little bit of kindness and you know even if they're not going through something then you just pay it forward because it always comes back to you but this is an old irish drinking song but i love the sentiment for this time of year um if i'll have to link the chieftain's version of this because i just adore it um but it says so here's a health to the company and one for my last let's drink and be merry all out of one glass let's drink and be merry all grief to refrain for we may or might never all meet here again so i just want to with that sentiment and that thought i want to wish you a very very merry christmas happy hanukkah happy kwanzaa happy holidays i hope you have an amazing just celebration with family and or loved ones or friends or whatever it might be if you want to see the other christmas trees i decorated stick around but if not i hope you guys just have a wonderful day i love you so much i'm very grateful for each and every one of you and i will see you next time bye